what's up, YouTube? It's with the franchise guy, and we're going to test of Madden 19 franchise mode. Let's go start this game off by upgrading Jason Kelsey, the best center in the league, actually. Look at pro, pro football focus. Jason Kelsey is literally ranked the best center in the league. He is one of the most underrated players right now. But we got some big decisions right here. Jason Peters can come back from injury. I mean, I think we're just going to let him sit, though. Do some scouting right here on some left guards because we do need offensive linemen. But when can we never use offensive linemen right there? Rush German right here, this uh, this nice little right guard boy. Charles Carpenter, going to be a nice addition. Hopefully if we can grab him up. I mean, left tackles. I see a lot of guys. I got Kenny Bryant right here. Eh, let's not draft Kenny Bryant. He was like a huge bust. Blake Vance of Vance Refrigeration right there. Bryant Eckerson. Oh, that's Erickson. Martin Farmer. Looking like a semi-decent prospect right there. But taking on the Buffalo Bills right here. Bills Mafia versus the Eagles Faithful. I mean... If we do not win this game right here, I am sorry. We do not deserve to be the GM of the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, actually, we're the owner. We will retire outright if uh, we end up losing to the likes of the Buffalo Bills. We are playing in their element, though, as uh, there is some snow on the field. It is winter time. It is a Thursday night football game. Does not seem to phase the Eagles, though, as look at this man right here in the t-shirt that had the polo on, tossing the rock around with Zach Ertz. Ertz last game, 8 catches, 68 yards, a touchdown with a long of 17. Whatever, I mean, that's not the greatest game for Zach Ertz. Doug Peterson, the greatest head coach in Eagles history, coming off back-to-back -back Super Bowls right now. I mean, Eagles are in line to make the Super Bowl for the, I guess not the Super Bowl, the playoffs for the third consecutive year. I mean, I'm hoping for Super Bowl because the Super Bowl best with this team. Uh, Got to recontract our controller right there. It's a big part of, I think, playing Madden is you need a controller right there. But uh, we're just cruising right now. Josh Allen, that baby face Josh Allen right there. I can see in like four or five years maybe Josh Allen's going to have like a Nick Foles beard. Because if you look at Nick Foles when he first came to the league, he was this nice, clean-shaven, nappy-haired dude. And now... Look at him now. A stud muffin, I guess. Josh Allen, I guarantee he'll be the same way. And this ball off to Amir Abdullah, I think that was right there for the touchdown. I think that, yeah, that's Abdullah. It's got to be Amir Abdullah. That is Abdullah right there. Number 37. He's eating right there. Gets to the whole offensive line. Gets the quarterback up in there. I mean, no passing touchdowns, unfortunately, so far. But, hey, it's cool. It's whatever it happens, you know? Look at, that, look at that offensive line just part the way for Abdullah right there. Runs in, unblocked. Number 74 is a monster. Threw that guy to the ground. It's a pancake and a half. Hopping in on some defense right here for the Eagles. We got Cassius Marsh on the edge. And, uh, yeah, it's not going to be a, a sack right there, but it will be a down of the first down. Be sure of the first down marker right there. Number 34 for the Eagles getting the tackle right there. Gonna hop back in the first quarter there, back on defense right now. Cassius Clay just getting body by that right tackle right there as Josh Allen just throws it away. I mean, he's not on it. Anything part of that Eagles front seven, I think he'd rather just ground it right there. Carson Wentz, looks like the Eagles are doing pretty well. I mean, they haven't scored much, but they're, uh, they're holding their own. I mean, that, that offensive line, though, is actually doing very well. It's Josh Allen just throws a dime right there. Is that Charles Clay right there? Yep, Charles Clay for his third catch of the game. I'm pretty sure it's all 115 of. I don't have that passing yards. I guess uh, he has all his passing yards right there. No, he has 32 passing yards of reception. 32 receiving yards. That's the word I'm looking for. Um... Hopping in now down in the red zone for the Eagles, and, uh... Trey Lamar looking for his 30th tackle in the season right now. We're in week 13. So that is not a good start for the young man. 9 30 tackles, 13 weeks into the season. Marshawn Lynch, though, getting stuffed right there. Second and eight. In the ball to LaShawn McCoy. And LaShawn McCoy will go down. 
with a small pickup with another two yard pickup right now. Third and medium for the Bills, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna end up. Uh, they're gonna go for it right now, third and six. Not gonna try anything all that smart. I'm assuming Cash Marsh should put pressure on Josh Allen. Allen's going to throw that way out of bounds right there. Doug Peterson looking pretty happy right there. I mean, I think you wish Marsh got there, got the sack, you know, kept that clock running. But it's whatever it happens. Fourth and six now going to go for the field goal for the Bills. And that's taking their time, taking their time. And they're going to put that one through the uprights. There will be no double doinks of the game. That's the 35th career. I guess, I don't know what that, I don't even know what that's at. I guess it's his 35th career field goal? Who knows? Dula going out wide. Zach Ertz still going to break Vernon Davis' touchdown record as we find the versatile tight end in the open field right there for a big pickup. Wins the day so far, 8 for 14 uh, with one interception. That's going to be the 1,000th receiving yard, two for Zach Ertz on the season. It's having a pretty good year, it looks like. Get some pressure right there on first and goal. We're just going to throw that one away. Not forcing the sack right there. Not going to force them the coverage either. Second and goal now for Carson Wentz. Wentz going to find none other than Zach Ertz. And Ertz is going to tiptoe into the end zone for a touchdown. Tying Vernon and Davis's 2013 touchdown record. I mean, it took Vernon Davis, what, 17 weeks to get that record? It's taken Zach Ertz 13 weeks to tie it. So, I don't know. You want to call this man a, uh, a freak of nature. I think he deserves it because Zach Ertz is a freak of nature. Zach Ertz probably one of like the best tight ends in the league too. Not only because I'm a U.S. fan, just from a standpoint of practicality, Zach Ertz is a top three tight end in the league. And uh, look at that, going wide for that's the Sean Jackson. Sean Jackson not gonna come up that as he runs into the defensive back right there. Not fun at all. We're going to get a field goal, a long field goal right there. Cody Park the, at the end of the second quarter right here. Gives us a 14-point lead over the Bills. It's a two-score score game right there. I mean, not much is happening in this game at all, really. I mean, this is a very low-scoring game. It's a very boring game. Hopping back in. Got some offense going on right here. And look at that. It's just a... Not a first down right there. It's going to be a three-yard pickup. I mean, no one wants to see three-yard pickups. They want to see, you know, touchdowns. They want to see Zach Ertz running people over. They want to say using four people to take down Zach Ertz right there. I mean, I'm pretty sure real life Zach Ertz goes down after the first contact, not needing two more people to take him down afterwards. Uh, yeah, but no, I'm not going to knock Zach Ertz at all for showing the hustle so far this game. Uh, now Sanger looking for a red zone catch right here, so we're gonna try and hit. Uh, gonna try and hit Aguilar, but it looks sorry. Look who's open. That's gonna be Zach Hurts, of course, breaking the 2013 record set by Vernon Davis. It happens. We're sorry, Mr. 49ers tight end who cried on draft day, who started the whole crying uh, phenom on crying when you're drafted. I mean. Vernon Davis cried when he was drafted. He cried when Mike Singletary yelled at him. He cried when he got a game winner. He cried when he dropped a game winner. If Vernon Davis goes to the Hall of Fame, he will probably cry during the making of his statue. His bust will be him crying. That's just who Vernon Davis is. No, no way around it. Look at that right here. Going to find... No, other than Alshon Jeffrey over the middle. Alshon Jeffrey is one of those receivers who seems to get overlooked a lot, especially when you do are targeting Zach Ertz a lot. Alshon Jeffrey just seems to be um overlooked. But right now, we're looking to tie Jimmy Graham's touchdown record as we force that into triple coverage. If we had waited maybe another minute or so, another minute, another couple of feet or so, you probably could have got the touchdown right there and you know tied that record. But Wentz rolling out wide, looking for his tight end, not going to find him. Throwing into coverage again, trying to force it to the tight end. That's going to be Porter uh, Poyer. It's going to be Calvin Poyer's third pass deflection. And right here, look at that. Tying Jimmy Graham's touchdown record. 
Carson Wentz, Zach Ertz, who's at his third touchdown of the game right there, has to be his third touchdown of the game right there. I mean, Bills can't believe it. Yeah, you got Micah Hyde, Calvin Poyer, and uh, you got Zach Ertz right there, tying all the records. Look at that right there. Zach Ertz, 12-yard catch. I mean, if you can't say he's one of the best times in the league, you're crazy. It means you don't watch football. That's what it really means. Fourth and two right now for the Bills. They're just trying to make this game respectable as we're going to stop them short of the first down marker. Carson Wentz going back on the field at 23-36, 255 passing yards, three touchdowns, and one pick. Not a bad stat line at all for Carson. I mean, 331 right now. Uh, I mean, going to find another than Zach Ertz. Just trying to run this score up. I mean, if we don't run the score up against the Bills, who are we as a quarterback and a tight end? Look at that. Forcing the ball to Zach Ertz. We had a person open down low. But we are passing Jimmy Graham's touchdown record right now. So we have broken two records, season records, in a game for tight ends receiving touchdowns. Just because we can. Look at that. Triple coverage right there. Everyone's covering him. That two men behind him, one man right there, and he just comes down with that ball. Are there any more records we can break? I mean, I'm pretty sure we broke all the records. I mean, if we haven't, as the Buffalo Bills make it 17 to 38, we're gonna hand this ball off to Amir Abdullah just to burn out the clock, and the Bills gonna get a nice, pretty big run right here. At a nice chunk of running yards right there. That's like a 15-yard pickup. 44 seconds left, we're in the red zone because of that run. And Abdullah not going to find the same success as his previous run as he runs into a lot of teammates. And he runs into a lot of bills going down short of the first down marker right there. But with one second left, we're going to take the knee right there. Buffalo Bill is going to take the L. We're going to get that W. I mean, we're cruising right now. 38-17 win, 277 pass yards, 109 yards on the ground, 6 yards per attempt, 1 takeaway per team. I mean, you can't get much better than that. I mean, maybe you could work on takeaways a little bit. Maybe you could not throw interceptions. Carson Wentz, 4 touchdowns, 1 pick. Amir Abdullah had 75 rushing yards. Receiving Ertz had 97. Alshon had 95. No one else had much either. Blocking no sacks left for once, actually. Sidney Jones led the team with 10 tackles, followed by Malcolm Jenks with 7. I mean, uh, Brandon Graham had a couple sacks right there. Some of Fletcher Cox and Nick Bosa. Jake Elliott was 1 for 1 and 5 for 5. Punting, AJ Cole had 3 punts for 157 yards. If you guys like this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed those, you can follow us down below. And yeah, peace out, Rock on YouTube.